Come in. Hi. Oh, hi, Amanda. You've come to discuss your midterm assignment, haven't you? Yes, that's right. So, what have you decided to do? Well, I thought I could base my study on pronunciation and get students to do some self assessment of their own pronunciation skills. That's interesting. You mean get them to record themselves? That's right. Then listen back and see where their weaknesses lie. Good idea. You could also do some peer evaluation. <laughs> oh, yes. See whether their assessment of themselves matches what their classmates think. Uh huh. So, how are you planning to do the assignment? Well, I'm going to select a short extract from somewhere and ask them to read it aloud. Maybe something from one of the textbooks we're reading. Why don't you look up one of my lectures on the website and find a suitable extract there? That way, you'll be using authentic spoken language rather than written text. And it will be a model for students to listen to. <laughs> oh, yes, that's a much better idea. I'll still have to write it out, though, won't I? Yes. I don't think you can expect them to remember it. Even a sentence is hard to recall. No, and it isn't a memory test. So, when I choose the extract, what features do I need to think about? Um, first, I'd say pick something, well, Something that's about a paragraph long, but that makes sense out of the context of the lecture. Right. A clear, well structured passage. Yes, because to read something well, you've got to be able to understand it, haven't you? Yes. That might mean taking a while to make the selection. I guess it shouldn't consist entirely of short words. No, that's an obvious one. You need to think about what features of pronunciation you're going to focus on. Then make sure that your extract has examples of these. So, some multi syllable words. Things like probably and approximately. Yes, some challenges. And then there's sentence length. Hmm. I should include some complex sentences so that the students have to show they know where to pause. Exactly. I wouldn't worry about how many sentences there are. But what you do need are some obvious main points. So that they can stress things. Yes, particular words or phrases should stand out as significant. You know, we've already covered this in our classes over the weeks.